Brace yourselves. A Bryce Harper bidding war will be among us in the winter of 2018. It will be insane. Numbers will fly. Mankind could be destroyed. Okay, sorry. We're just trying to make the Bryce Harper sweepstakes more intense. That's right. The face of the Washington Nationals could find a new home after the 2018 season. Reports are that his team won't give Harper the money he wants. So don't be surprised if he's playing elsewhere. The only question is where? I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present the 10 best destinations for Bryce Harper. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10. Arizona Diamondbacks The up-and-coming D-backs have a franchise hitter in Paul Goldschmidt, but he could use some support at the plate. World-class pitcher Zach Greinke shoulders Arizona's underrated rotation, but these two stars won't be enough in the crowded National League. The D-backs could use an outfield slugger like Harper because, well, it's Bryce Harper. He'd instantly change any team's misfortunes around. If Arizona is willing to shell over $200 million to Granke, then why not shell over whatever it takes to get Harper? Number 9. Texas Rangers Texas is among the top teams in baseball most years. Thanks to their extremely powerful lineup and the dangerous pitching duo of Hugh Darvish and Cole Hamels, but they have a weak link in the outfield, so Harper could be a massive acquisition to shore up that issue. And hey, it's the state of Texas. Harper would have to pay very little in taxes if he were to sign a whopping $400 million contract with the Rangers. He'd be on a team loaded with other young stars like Rugnet Odor. It's a pretty excellent match if you ask me. Number 8. San Francisco Giants the Giants own three World Series championships since 2010, but their aging core makes it tough to imagine a fourth title is coming in this decade. With some of their top hitters like Hunter Pence and Denard Spann not far off from free agency, the Giants will need to fill the gap in the outfield. They also play in a crowded NL West, and it's going to take a star like Harper to help them become kings of the division again. The Giants have a lot to offer Harper, but does he want to go there, and will they offer him all the dough he wants? Number 7. Colorado Rockies the Rockies have one of baseball's top five offenses every year, and a lot of that has to do with them playing in the Mile High City. Harper is already one of baseball's most feared hitters as is. Now combine that with the air in Denver. Suddenly, this already amazing hitter is getting an even bigger boost from the Colorado weather. The Rockies have players like Trevor Story and Nolan Arenado to build around for a long time. With right fielder Carlos Gonzalez also set for free agency soon, Harper is an ideal replacement for the slugger. Colorado's going to win a lot of ball games soon with their dynamic offense. Now, if they could just add a star like Harper, imagine all the home runs. Number 6. Philadelphia Phillies Many rumors have linked Harper with the Philadelphia Phillies, who've been among baseball's worst teams since 2012. But the Phillies will likely be willing to outbid almost any other team for Harper's services. And let's be honest, money talks more than winning for most free agents. The Phillies don't have many players that bring a lot of excitement now, and they won't for a while. If they break open the vault solely to land Harper, then things might improve. Number 5. Los Angeles Dodgers Well, you got baseball's best pitcher and Clayton Kershaw and arguably baseball's best rotation. You have one of baseball's most stacked infields, led by star shortstop Corey Sager. But the Dodgers keep falling just short of reaching the World Series. They truly need that one last piece to reach the next level. And since Magic Johnson's group loves to spend big bucks on big-named players, why not Harper? With his addition, the Dodgers have baseball's best pitcher and maybe baseball's best hitter. That has to lead the championships, right? Number 4. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim The Angels have the best player in baseball, Mike Trout. Most prognosticators consider Trout and Harper to be the best faces of baseball. So Anaheim just signed Harper. Him and Trout together? We never saw Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson on the same team. Nor Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. Nor Babe Ruth and Hank Aaron. This is the dream duo of sports. If Harper and Trout come together, then anything is possible, and baseball in Anaheim would be really fun to watch again. Make it happen, Angels! Number 3. Washington Nationals All signs point to Harper leaving the Nationals when his contract expires. Doesn't mean they're still not a premier destination for him. The Nationals are built to win now and for the next five years. They're the team that helped Harper become the superstar he is today. He's a generational athlete and has made baseball big in D.C. There's never a great reason to leave a good team unless you want more money. If the Nationals can meet his asking price, then Harper has every reason to stay. Number 2. Chicago Cubs With reports surfacing that Harper wants to join the Cubs, you already know they'll be in on him. Chris Bryant is already one of baseball's elite hitters. The Cubs have so many stars all over their roster. They'll give Harper a million chances to win that elusive World Series. And hey, it's the Cubs. They have no problem dishing out fat contracts to great players. 
putting Harper in Wrigley Field would be quite the image to behold. The only thing stopping Harper from going to Chicago is if the Cubs aren't willing to pony up the big bucks for him. And number one, New York Yankees. Most people will tell you that the Yankees are the favorite to land Harper. Let's go with the majority here. The Yankees already have ultra-franchise cornerstones in slugger Aaron Judge and catcher Gary Sanchez. They're going to win a ton of games today, tomorrow, and in the next 10 years. And oh yeah, the Yankees spend more money than any team in sports. They've always been like that. Harper also grew up a Yankees fan and they would surely offer him the most money. This is a match made in heaven. Really, what reason is there to believe that Harper isn't a Yankee in 2019? Where do you think Bryce Harper will sign? Join us in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.